Tessa Ramel and this is my video blog on how to plant a flower. Now that the snow is all gone and summer is finally here, you start to see flowers blooming everywhere and today I'm going to show you the steps required to plant your own flower. You can put it in your garden, your house, or wherever you really want to. The materials you'll need are of course a flower, some gloves, a trowel, um, a hose or a watering can, some plant food, some potting soil, some fertilizer, and a rototiller. First step is the preparation. Um, the first part of that is to pick out the location for your plant. If you're planting more than one flower, it's a good idea to lay them out beforehand. Make sure you have enough room for each flower. Um, then is preparing the soil. I find it's easiest to take a rototiller and rototill the ground to soften it up. And then you can go ahead and add some potting soil, which usually has fertilizer in it, and mix that up as well. Um, then the next step is picking out your flower. You can pick out any flower you want. Um, it's a good idea to take into consideration how much sunlight it needs. Like this usually says it right on these tags. This flower needs full sun, so I would go ahead and put it in a location where it has direct access to sun all the time. Um, and then you can go ahead and go on to the planning part. Um, first step is putting on gloves to keep your hands clean. If getting your hands a little dirty doesn't bother you, then you can go ahead and skip this step. It's all up to you. And then the next step is to take a trowel, go ahead and dig a hole into the ground deep enough to fit your plant and a little bit bigger around it just to fit it in. Uh, then you can go ahead and take a hose or water and can, go ahead and drench the soil. Uh, not only does it give it some water, it also, um, makes it easier to get it out of the container. Then you can go ahead and take it out of the container. Okay, and then the next step is to go ahead and gently pull apart the roots at the bottom. Uh, they get kind of compacted down once in these containers for a while and just pulling them apart gently, not tearing them, it helps the roots grow out. The next step is to go ahead and Put a little bit of plant food, you only need about a couple tablespoons per hole. Uh, what it does is it helps the roots take hold and gives it a little extra nutrients to grow a bit quicker. And then you can go ahead, place your plant in the hole, and the next step is to take some surrounding soil, just fill it up, fill the hole up to the top. You don't need to add, add too much soil, just enough to go up to the top. You don't want to put too much. Go ahead, lightly tamp around hole, make sure it's secure and packed in there, and then you have your plant in the ground. The next step is the maintaining. Uh, make sure you water it regularly so it doesn't die. It's important not to overwater. If your leaves start to get a little bit yellow, that means you're overwatering, so just stop watering so much. Um, and the last step is to make sure to weed around your plant. Um, not only do weeds take away from the beauty of a flower, they also can take some of the nutrients out of the soil that your plant needs. If you ever need to plant your own flower, I hope this helps you.